from the place affectionately known and as now, the K, Warwick Kaufman 2018, Stadium in Kansas City. Kansas Today we bring you Conquest Royal. baseball action between the Pirates and the Royals. Fan allegiances in a key territory are on the line next on the show. Jason Hamill is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Kansas City. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches. And I love the fact he mixes them well. And we'll just see if he's on today. That means he's throwing strikes with all of them. And he'll have a dominant game if he does so. Charlie Blackman is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. This is swung on and lifted down the left field line, but it'll get back into the crowd as he jumps ahead of him now, 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Toward the gap in right center, this is going to be a base hit, and he may take that big turn at first. Well, you get ahead of the leadoff batter, 0 and 2. Then you give up a base hit 0 2. Not the way you draw it up. He's going to have to figure out a pitch to put guys away, or this will be a short outing for him. Fastball right back to the mound, and he'll flip on to first to record the out. Time now to give you a look at the batting third. order for the visiting right, squad. Fielder. What are Andrew the keys to success McCutcheon. for them today, Harold? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Pickoff move to second. And he'll be back in standing up. The 0 1 pitch. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. Now, Fillmore's an interesting case. I call him one of those guys that calls the corners a little wider, but up and down, he's not giving you much. So if you just put a little square up there, that's him. Kane is there now, and he has it to gone. Now with the plate, Jason Kipnis. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of that ball over the bullpen and into the stands. That's one long home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right field as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so we waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. Into the box now, number 86, as the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. The windup and the 1 0 pitch. Chop foul right by home plate, and it's a ball and a strike. Here's the one and one pitch. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And that'll get down for what should be extra bases. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a two out double. Batting sec. Third in now is Anthony six. Rendon. Anthony Opportunity for him Rendon. here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch on its way. Line towards center field. Kane is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. On to the bottom of the first at Kauffman Stadium. Redding leads this one two to nothing. Garrett Cole the California born right hander is on the mound. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, he's got five pitches, and I mean, they're all good. He throws them for strikes. He dominates. He mixes speeds up. I asked him one day, what's your best pitch? And he told me, all five. And he lays off for ball one. Ah. 
There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Well that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really throws it. Good breaking ball. And oh strike three called as he gets a little help there one away a chance now from the K to have a look at the starting nine for these Royals HR how do they send their fan base home happy here today Well, you come in and you realize man we're already down two. what do you do you play within yourself you get a leadoff guy on the next man moves him up or moves him over then our middle guys maybe we hit a big Batting bop to third. get in it you don't have to go Center get two field. runs this inning just Lorenzo get one keep chipping Kane. away and giving yourself a chance Lorenzo Kane comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one no oh, and he's really getting the better of him now it's strike two look Matt this guy's got a great sinker here's the there's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field and oh he missed a home run by a matter of feet it's off the wall Runner around second now, headed for third. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. He just sports that Batting ball off the wall, and now the question will be should he have continued oh, on or not? He All thought right. about pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two to one game. Here comes the first pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Now the 0-1. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. He's already given up a run. He's got a runner on. He's got to put this guy away. Got him in an 0-2 count. You can't let this inning get any worse. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Royals settle for just the one. Second inning upcoming here in KC. The Pirates lead this one two to one. Leading off with a Pirate. Digging in. Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin He'll begin Encarnacion. things here against Jason Hamill. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Throw to first will be in time and there's one gone here to start the second. Batting eight. Shortstop. Now batting Trevor, Trevor Story. Story. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Into the windup and the pitch. Way in front of a great slider that time. One out, nobody on. But a big pass at a slider that gets past him. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally, not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try Having to throw done. another one. I Pepper. like that at bat. Found himself Garrett. down 0-2, kept battling, put the ball in play, little grounder through the hole, and ends up with a base hit. Just fight through the at bat Your the whole way, and that's what he did right there. Hitting for the pitcher Cole, number 24, Ken Griffey Jr. Pitch popped straight up. Hamill just to the left of the mound. He's got it, and there are two down now. Ready for another chance. Charlie Blackman. He reached on a single in his first try. From the stretch here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Cuthbert has room in foul territory. And that ends the inning. So it's no runs on a hit no errors and a man left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Redding is on top here, two to one. Darren O'Day, O'Day. six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Tough slider down low for a strike. Pretty well hit deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Ready with another 0-2. And this will be chopped foul here at home plate. Just gets a piece of it. Still 0-2. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. The next 0-2. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. Now the 1-2 home to Gordon. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Marte. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Batting seven, right fielder. Number, number 38 eight. is next as he finds himself behind 0 1. 
His approach at the plate right here has to be to the right side. If he gets it through the infield, that tying run might come around, but at the very least, that would get the runner to third with less than two outs. This one's down to third. A quick out number one. Okay, here's the defense for the away team, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at Trevor's story. What is the story with Trevor? We've heard that enough his rookie year. He was hitting all kinds of moonshot homers. But I think his defense got overlooked. When I put him side by side in the breakdown with Troy Tulowitzki, do you know which one's the real Troy Tulowitzki? He's that much of a clone. Hit out towards second. Kipnis is there. Throw on to first, two gone. Eric Hosmer will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch it with two gone and a runner at third. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Fouled back. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Hot shot down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And the tying run is in to score from third. It's now a 2-2 ball game. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Played on the backhand. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Now Digging batting. in to try it again. Chesler Cuthbert. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. Hit hard on the ground to second. Kipnis has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. And welcome back to Major League Baseball on the show from KC as we get you a nice shot of downtown there. Chris Young is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. The wind up and the 0 1. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. What a good pitch. He went way out of the zone to try to swing and catch up to that slider. Now you got him thinking. It's 0-2. You can throw him anything you want. And no chance there for Escobar. It's a base hit. Two strike hitting. Man, you love it when guys are able to fight now the ball it. off and get a Frank hit. Fielder. Right here he fights it Andrew off and flips McCutcheon. it over the middle infielder's head. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as a left-hander starts to throw. And he's back easily. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hit hard back up the middle. And McCutcheon has himself a base hit. Throw will hold him at second, but the go-ahead runs in scoring position now is still nobody out. Well, nice piece of hitting on that first pitch, but one thing that he didn't do is allow that base runner a chance to steal. He might have stole the bag, and now you're looking at maybe get him over or drive him in with the base hit. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as he sends it on the ground to first. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Well, that's a big hit right there. You might be wondering why they hold the runner up. Now you have bases loaded. Anytime you have no outs, you don't want to force that guy to be thrown out. Now you put the pressure on the defense with the bases loaded. Into the box, number 86. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Now, I tell you what, if I had a timeout and I went out there to talk to him, I'd say, look, we just got to minimize the damage. Bases loaded, no outs. We don't want them to blow the inning totally open. Comes set with the 0-1. Ground ball to second. This could be two. They get the force at the plate. On to first, and they turn the double play. 
stepping in and ready for another shot. Anthony Rendon, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In on the hands a bit with the fastball. It's 1 and 0. Runners at second and third with two gone. Hit hard on the ground is short. There is Escobar. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So no runs here on three hits. Leading off for the Royals, the center fielder number six. Addison Lorenzo Reed Kane. enters from the bullpen to do Your the pitching. Lorenzo Kane Addison will stand in for a second Reed. time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. High pop up. Kipnis is there for it. One away. The catcher number 13. Digging Salvador. in for his second at bat. Right. Salvador Perez. He hit a sack fly earlier. In there, no balls and a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Start of that swing a bit too early. Beautiful changeup. Got him out front with that swing right there. That's what a changeup will do. Just keep you off balance. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Salvador Perez becomes the second out in the bottom of the third. Chopped weakly up the first base line. On to Encarnacion at first, and that ends the inning. Edwin Encarnacion now. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. First baseman, Edwin Encarnacion. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Moustakis is there for it. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Striding in Story. once again, Trevor Story. A base hit in his first trip. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gordon is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now batting, the pitcher, Patterson Reed. Nelson Cruz will get the call here now as he'll hit for Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Outside for a ball, one and one. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Three and one. This guy, whew, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count that gets him excited. And it's full now, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Francisco Rodriguez, a right-hander standing six foot Francisco even, will take over the Rodriguez. pitching duties here. Alex Gordon stands in as he checks his Leading swing here for strike for one. Looking at strike two, Number a fastball four. that catches the inside corner. And he Three. takes strike three called on the fastball, one gone. So striding in, number 38 comes into this number at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. There's the hard stuff from K-Rod to start him out. It's nothing in one. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0 and 2. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. 
And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The batter first pitch 15. coming. Here it is. Whit Merrifield is at the plate now and he Murray takes a cold field. strike. Oh man. He's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches. Seven down. Two to go. Oh and two. Here it is. And that one stayed too low apparently. Very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this. Here's Charlie Blackman now. A hit in two tries so far. Center fielder. Into the windup and the pitch. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. That's a bad approach right there. Look, you may get that pitch later in the at bat. If you're going to take a swing first pitch, it's got to be a ball you can drive. And that was not the pitch. And Gordon's there to take it in for the first out. Now batting. Here's Starling Up Marte. Fielding. One for Starling two on his line Marte. so far in the game. First delivery to him on the way. Therefore, it Escobar backhanded. Throw on to first, and CY's looking for a quick inning here. There are two away. But hold on here now. He jumped out of that dugout in a hurry. He might ask for that out call to be reviewed. Yeah, he may, Matt, but I think he'll see what his replay guys think first. Looking at it again, man, I can't tell for sure if he was out or not. Tough call. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The previous play is under video. All review. right. We'll take one last look at it here. The question is is there enough video evidence to change the call to safe. And wow from that look at it. I think he did beat that throw. This challenge might work out for him. The decision appears to have been made as the headset comes off and the runner is safe. So the call is overturned. Upon the runner will stay review, at first base the and they maintain the right to challenge further plays overturned. going forward. And the batter ruled safe. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He swings and grounds it to short. One there on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Christian Colon will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Here's a first pitch changeup that swung on and chopped foul right at home plate. A fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Rendon is going to have plenty of room as he puts it away in front of the dugout for the first out of the inning. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. Looking to put him away, here's the 0-2. Just got a piece up the line. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Here now is Chesler Cutford. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Hard hit to first. And a sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him, a base hit. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lorenzo Kane. He's one for two in the ball game. And he takes ball one. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two out rallies start. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. He's set. Here's the two-two. And that changeup didn't tempt anybody and misses for ball three. 
Ready now with the payoff pitch. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 3 2 one more time. Another one sent foul. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Ready for another chance. Salvador Perez. He hit a sack fly earlier. This is line to left. Marte will get there and he puts it away to retire the. Mike Miner takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. Cuthbert has it. Oh, and it sailed right over his head at first. And lucky for them, the right fielder's there to back up the throw. And he's going to make it up to second base safely as he's in there. My word. Digging in once again, number 86. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Swing and a hot shot toward third. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And the go-ahead run will move up to third and wisely hold there with nobody out. Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon as he rips it on the ground to second. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Well, I was curious how this at-bat was going to play out. They had the infield drawn in instead of maybe playing for a double play. Had they been back, that might have been a double play ball. Instead, the run scores and an RBI is picked up. First pitch of the at-bat. Edwin Encarnacion is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one. It's nothing and one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. First and second here with nobody out. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Into the box now. The Trevor Story. A hit in two tries Trevor so far. Story. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A swing and a miss at one that almost hit him. First and second now, one man out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Kane is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting the pitcher Francisco Rodriguez. Eric, Eric Cosmer please. will start to loosen up in the, the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on number and two out here. Eric Cosmer. Rip down the line. Cuthbert gloves it on the second for the force out, and the side is retired. So it's one. Now Ryan Dull enters to Ryan do the pitching in the bottom Dull. of the sixth. Ready once again, Mike Mustakis. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. Hit hard on the ground at first. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. Matt, did you see where they were playing him? They're playing him in the shift, and he just Another did not builder, care. If he hit the ball hard, I guess that's his philosophy. It was going to get through anyway, and we saw it right there. Base hit into the shift. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. Hit hard up the middle. Story scoops it up. He'll go to the bag for one. On to Encarnacion, and they get them both. A double play. The batter. Good pitch on the Number ground ball there, and an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Standing in now, number 38, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 2 for him to this point. And this is fouled back and out of play. 
He's clearly looking. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. They came in looking to capture this territory, and they did just that. Well played game, and now they look on to the next task at hand. A one run game this afternoon, three to two, the final finish. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com.